This lighting is awful. Hang on. And this is supposed to be my intro to the video. Good enough. So I am here at the JL Aviation Hangar Dance. I think this is the 12th year they've done this, and I'm gonna just go walk around and have some fun and shoot with the JVC Handicam. Not the Handicam. The video movie. You know, the one from the Back to the Future and Stranger Things. Let's get into it. Oh, and I'm rocking the Polaroid SLR 680, aka the Beast. I'm going full 80s today. Let's get into it. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. It works, baby! <laughs> Let's find out. So yeah, I was really excited that this actually works. I've always wanted one of these. Growing up, I love Back to the Future, and you can see Marty using this in the in the first movie when he's recording Doc. And I've always loved the style and the color scan. Just, it's just so cool. And then they used it in Stranger Things, which you guys know I kind of like that show too. The Hangar Dance is really fun. I've gone, I think, three or four times now over the last several years. Live music, several bands typically play. There's been uh, skydivers that roll through. There's uh, helicopter rides that you can go on. Uh, there's food and drinks. I made a mistake once with the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> story for another time but uh, it's a really fun environment and this year decided to kind of mo mostly focus shooting with this guy this was actually a pretty big hit people were wondering what the heck it is some people have never even seen it before some people there were like oh my gosh I remember those I haven't seen one of those in years or they used to own one things like that and uh, so it's always fun to be able to have interesting things that people don't usually have and it strikes up conversations and who knows where that can go. But this is the JVC GRC1. This was kind of a revolutionary piece of technology because this was like the first all-in-one compact VHS camera. I've always wanted one, but they've always been <laughs> a little out of reach on the price tag and that's mostly due to the fact that it was used in Back in the Future and everyone wants one of these for their shelves. Some serious shit. <sighs> Even came with its original carrying case. So you already seen the little montage I did towards the beginning of this video. I shot some with this as well, and I wanted to kind of see what type of feel I can get. And I thought I had it kind of added a little retro taste to the event. What do you think? I think it's recording. It's bright out, I can't see the light. Woo! I have no idea if you can see or hear me! What's up?
Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. What do you guys think? Did I do an okay job? Tricky to shoot with VHS. It's really hard to shoot VHS, guys. You have to get really creative with your shots. Pro tip, if you are buying some vintage tech, try and ask as many questions as you can about the unit and its accessories. Because the accessories are probably not gonna be really easily obtainable because some of them were proprietary. But I would say the main piece of accessory that w when you're buying these is to make sure it has its video cable like this. Because on some of them, they are proprietary to that unit and it could be a little difficult to track down. But why you need this? Well, it's to get the tape onto your computer to digitize it in modern days. There are other ways to do it, like taking the tape, putting it into like a VCR of some kind and doing it that way. So you can do that. But I found it to be simpler just to have this cable. And for me, I can still bring this camera in to my computer and use it as a source if I ever want to like live stream with it or do some other fun things. So having this is pretty, pretty big deal. And if you're wondering how you get the footage off of the camera and into your computer, I've done multiple, multiple videos over the years. I'll leave some links in the description below. The other thing is you're gonna notice, well, it has a battery. I doubt this is gonna work. It's from 1984 and you would be uh, correct. Uh, but I did find a website still produces batteries for older cameras and other sorts of tech. I'll leave a link in the description below. I did find this battery. It came from overseas. I believe it was from China and it did take a very long time to show up and it wasn't cheap. Um, I wanna say this battery was right around 60 to $70. The original ones were only 500 milliamp hours. Yeah, that's not very long. And this actually is a 2100 <laughs> milliwatt hour battery. So yeah, it's got some juice. It's gonna last a lot longer than the original batteries would. Also quick side note though, when I got this battery, it did not lock in place. Um, it would just kind of sit in there and it would just float around was very frustrating. I ran into some problems with that when I was using this at the hangar dance. But when I got home, I was looking at the older one. They got the placement slightly wrong on the locking mechanism on the battery. So what I did was the top notch here on the bottom of it, I shaved it down a little bit. And what do you know? Actually, it locks in place. So that was a quick fix. I wish I knew that before. To operate the camera, I'm very lucky that this came with the instructions because I could not figure out how to, to hit record with this thing. And when you turn it on, it defaults itself into play mode. So to get it into record mode, you have to actually press the pause button and the record button at the same time. But this did come with the original instructions, so I was able to look in there and figure it out. And speaking of the instructions, I've seen a lot of instructions in my day, but these, have to be hands down the best instructions I have ever seen. Pride that was taken in instructions back in the day, I gotta tell you, pretty amazing. Just the way everything's like laid out and labeled, it's in super it's super clear to understand. I know, I'm who, who would have thought that we would be talking about this sort of stuff? Not me. But just the graphics inside, it's just so simple. Modern day stuff is not this clear and illustrated. Shout out to you, JVC1984, whoever designed this. Kudos to you. I wanna meet you. I wanna shake your hand. Hey, look at us. You can zoom. The zoom is very slow. But again, it's from 1984. And you have some other controls like white balance and it has even like, it looks like a custom option just by the manually adjusting it. There is a sensitivity. That is for the belief of the like auto exposure type of thing. And then it has a iris control. You can manually open and close the iris. So that would come in handy if you are gonna be stopping and, and starting your recording. You could just dip it to black and then stop the recording so that way yeah, there's like a clear indication in your tape uh, where you are stopping and you're recording. It has, you know, right there for finger controls, the uh, wide and tight. So you hit T to zoom in and W zooms back out. See, easy peasy. It has play, pause, record, rewind, fast forward, all the normal stuff that you would see on a VHS camera. And then it has a uh, reset memory. That's actually a pretty uh, important one. It is a timer, which helps you keep track of how much time you have shot on the tape. You don't want to run out of tape when you are out shooting, especially if you only have one. Now, compact C tapes hold 30 minutes. That's it. 
It has a uh, headphone jack and it has a remote option too, which is pretty cool. You can have like on a switch. And if you really wanted to, this microphone does come out and you could put in another microphone. I've always wanted to do a video where I take some modern technology and combine it and make like the most high tech vintage camera that I can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I'll do that in the future. I've always wanted to. I think it'd be super fun. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. There's a lot of fun to be had with this thing. It's just, I think, really fun. Plus, it's a cool set piece. I'm sure you've seen it back there. I don't try and buy just stuff to have, sit on the shelf. I like to use the things. I know this is kind of just a weird one. Thought I'd just have fun with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more like this, consider subscribing. Now get out there. Make some art.